Okay, so I'm swapping some parts off my old Broncos. This Serco roof rack I put on my old Bronco over there over 10 years ago. So I remember putting it on. It's not that difficult, except for the headliner. Getting the headliner down and putting it back up. But I got this on. I got it all bolted up. And I'm having an issue putting the headliner back up again. And it just hit me that, oh, you know what? The screws are a little long, sticking out, sticking down. In other words, it's, they're not flush on the inside, so if they're sticking up a little and you're trying to get the headliner centered in place, they kind of, they're rubbing on the bolts inside. So it could probably be maybe a little shorter would make it a whole lot easier or if you can put the bolts from the inside so all you have is a bolt head instead of the nut and a little bit of screw showing that was my issue I think just a little bit of screw showing but I finally got it in there just had to, you know let's not get crazy so yeah so it's back in It just fits a little tighter now because it's got that little bit of bolt coming through. I use the same size bolts I used over there, I think inch and a half. And I was like, oh man, that's why it's so hard to put in. So if I had to do it over again, and if I had uh, somebody here helping me out, I'd probably put the bolts from the inside. It's easier doing it uh, with the bolts facing down and you just drop them in the hole and you can reach from underneath <coughs> but um, yeah so stainless steel screws that's in I repainted the whole thing and the brackets just to touch it up so this rack is larger than the one that Serco recommends. If you look, go to the Serco website, they'll have like an application thing where you put in your, your year and um, vehicle make and all that stuff and they recommend I think a 45 by 50. I got the oversized one because I wanted it take as big as I could get it, right? So it's a 50 by 60. And a buddy of mine had a suburb and had the same issue. He ordered one, or what they recommended for his suburb, and it was way too small. He said, "Man, he wants one that covers the whole roof, right? So you can get them just about any size you want." And there's some other options you can add, like uh, these light mounts. And they got the shovel mount, and the high lift jack mount, and a spare tire mount, and a floor kit. A floor kit. Oops. As you can see, it's kind of open. This is okay for my stuff. I just put sleeping bags and tents up here. I put some gas cans one year at the Mojave Road. And it would be nicer with a full top, though. Or some more bars, at least, through here. This way you can put some firewood. So as the sun setting, yeah. I did put some caulking underneath the brackets. Oh, <laughs> setting this thing on there. It is square, okay? When you set it up there, make sure you square it up. Because it does have some flex to it. And with mine, mine uh, has been tweaked once when I hit a low branch. Actually, it wiped out two of my lights on that side and that corner, but I was able to straighten everything up. But, um,. Yeah, I lined up these two brackets, and I go, okay, that looks center and everything. And then I went to do that first corner bracket on the other side, and I go, hey, it's not squared up. Double check your measurements side to side, front to back, and square it up. Because it does have a little flex to it. All I had to do is pull it back. I go, oh, cool. 
I thought I was gonna have to redrill all the holes. Right now it's got it's got a little bit of flex. Just pull that corner back that way. Well, hey guys, it's Tuesday and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So, got it. I got work to do. You know, the longer I hang on to this thing, the less money I'm gonna make. Right? So I got the rack mounted up there. I'm not gonna wire it right now, but I just wanted to get it up there. I got a, I have to secure the light bar still. Um, but it's been sitting, and because of the rains, it's got all kinds of streaks on it now. Like, what, hard water deposits? Yeah. Dang it, should wash right off. But. So here's the bumper off my Bronco. This is a Fab Fours product. And it's for a Super Duty, I believe. A, I forget what year, it's one of the older years. The frame brackets work out fine as far as the spread goes. They just have to be modified, shortened up to fit the frame on here. So that was, it took some cutting, but yeah, after that bolted right up. Except for the corners, like I said, see how that goes under there? So I think on this bumper I would have to notch this. Yeah, with a plasma cutter, man, that would be so easy. With my tools, it's like, hmm, it's possible. Okay, that's number one. Number two was on this bumper. Originally, I was gonna build a tire carrier for it, okay? And um, I was gonna modify it further by removing probably a third of the lower half of the bumper there so it's not hanging down so low. Especially on the sides, you know? It's cutting your, uh, what do you call it, approach angle, departure angle. I was gonna remove this lower section here. Probably straight across there. Oh, that's got a big piece of steel there. This is a heavy bumper. I would lighten it up a bit. I've got nothing really to cut that with other than a grinder and a sawzall. So, okay, racks on there. I just sealed it up. I used some water base caulking it dries clear now they got some better stuff like that 3m marine stuff that stuff's really good adhesive it's a caulking marine rated but it's like 12 bucks for a tube so i use the old plumber's dap clear dap it's water base it's easy cleanup work it in around everything really good and then just wipe the excess off with a wet sponge. A lot easier to work with than uh, silicone or anything like that. Easy cleanup. Here, these just clamp on. And uh, stainless steel screws. And this is a, just an extra screw to lock it in there. And I put some caulking on that before it went through the sheet metal. If you're gonna mount one of these on your truck, I used inch and a half bolts. That's only because that's what I used the original, originally when I installed it on that truck over 10 years ago. Now that I've taken it off and put it back on, I was, you know what? Go with the shortest bolts you can find, or that'll work. I think inch and a quarter would have been a better choice, especially if you're gonna run the screws down um, thinking about it now after the fact, it would have been better to run them from the inside up so you don't have that big old nut and screw sticking out on the inside. That made the headliner difficult to reinstall. I got it back in there, but yeah, it was, oh man. It brought back memories of when I first installed it on the other Bronco. I had the same issue. The headliner would not fit proper because that bolt and nut sticking up sticking through on the inside i mean it fit but it was just difficult to 
make it fit yeah there's not a whole lot of room in there for nothing bolt sticking through but if you had the screws like this see the screw heads and just put the nut on the outside that would have been better an inch and a quarter screws that's my recommendation so yeah so so like I said these things are aluminum and when you order them they come in pieces and they bolt together There's some sections here that bolt together and the rest of it is riveted see the little rivet here and there I added screws because eventually these things come loose like right there is a loose something here I have to add a screw in there somewhere it's got screws in that side but yeah I've had to add screws all the way around it's fairly tight now okay that's it I am a uh, I just hooked up the winch that was fairly easy what I did on the winch on the positive lead or on the positive cable is sleeve it in an old garden hose you can see it right there see the green yeah so I'm gonna worry about it shorten out anything that's my big concern because there's no fuse on this it goes direct to the battery so it comes off here and goes up yes yeah, so where we at right there oh, my hands in the way yeah right there that and the negative negative you'd be okay but that That's fairly it right there. Loop it through so it's don't gotta worry about it shortening anything out. Uh, old old garden hoses are pretty tough, so you can go buy stuff like this, but the old garden hose is a lot thicker and tougher than that. So that's that. I need to get in here and detail his engine. I don't know what kind of dirt they were in, but look at. clean it up a bit other than that it's not bad it's not bad I've seen worse St. Louis. 